The issue of D.C. statehood. We deserve statehood. Long live D.C. statehood. I'm in D.C., so I'm for it. It is absolutely clear that the framers and the founders of our country did not go to war with a slogan of taxation without representation in order to allow that slogan to apply everywhere but in their nation's capital. Over the years, there have been a lot of arguments against statehood. You're too small, they say, but we're bigger by population than two states, bigger than all states but Oklahoma at the time they were <laughs> admitted to the union. It's more residents than two of the states. Vermont and Wyoming each has one representative, just like me, except that representative can vote on this floor, and two senators. Those who pay the most taxes per capita have the least rights. That is why we are determined to get our rights. There's no taxation without representation. This is unjust. This is wrong. D.C. statehood now. The city I represent has one of the strongest economies in the nation. It has a budget of about $14 billion. That's larger than the budget of 12 states. The entire Congress, the Congress then becomes the largest City Council on Earth. That is occupation. We operate our own schools. We manage state Medicaid programs. We receive federal block grants. Like states, we issue driver's licenses, license plates, and birth and death certificates. We regulate banks and insurance companies, operate our state-based affordable care marketplace and we enforce environmental regulations. For the purposes of thousands of federal laws, we act as a state and we do it well. But we have no congressional vote on whether to go to war. Residents of the District of Columbia who fought and died in every war, including the war that created the United States, the Revolutionary War. We believe in the principle that taxation without representation is tyranny. Since we pay more taxes than 10 states and have more people than five states and more of our youth die in war per capita than 47 states, we deserve statehood. Unfortunately, there is uh, not one Republican co-sponsor of this bill. Major Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell called D.C. statehood. Full uh, bore socialism. I don't know what this means. We have 50 states now, and no one has ever claimed that adding one to our union and giving the representatives in Congress a vote was somehow evidence of socialism. When they say it's not about race or partisanship, you can be sure it's about race and partisanship. What it really gets down to, if you want to be honest, is because they know that's just more votes in the Democratic Party. And yes, it is true that we are more brown and more liberal than some of you. But denying statehood would be unfair no matter who was affected.
This has been a long fight. I believe that we will achieve our goal.